my name is Christian Edwards, and I will be teaching chemistry and biology at the Dodge City High School in the USD 443 School District in Dodge City, Kansas. An interesting fact about me is that I am the only girl out of three boys, and my second oldest brother and I, we were able to go to elementary school together. We didn't go to middle school together because I transferred to a different school district, but I did transfer back for high school, so we went to high school together, and then we were able to do our undergrad together. He was a math major, and I was a chemistry major. We went our separate ways whenever he graduated before I did. He went into the education field. I continued down the medical school route. Um, when I graduated from college, I continued to go to medical school, hated it within like the first six weeks. Um, so I withdrew from the program. I moved back home. I started long-term subbing as a way to just pass the time while I tried to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. I quickly came to realize that I thoroughly enjoyed teaching and that I loved everything about the education field. So I decided to do the transition to teaching slash MSE program at Fort Hayes. And quickly after I made that decision, so did he. So we are now going to grad school together. He told me I needed to stop following him, but I like to think that he followed me since I was the one who made the decision first and got accepted first, but it's fine. Um, some extracurricular activities that I am doing is I am currently the head swim coach for the community swim team. So I coach anyone from the age of, I believe seven is my youngest swimmer and my oldest swimmer is 18. And there's about 25 swimmers on my team. Um, so it's an all year round sport. So we're currently in the middle of our competition season. So it's very hectic, very exciting. I absolutely love it so much. I am also the aquatics coordinator at the Y in Dodge City. And so I'm just in charge of all of the lifeguards, the scheduling, overseeing the pool chemicals and just organizing and running any of the programs that have to do with the aquatics department, which I also thoroughly enjoy. Um, something that I have learned, like just by doing the first assignment, well, actually, okay, let's go back. I decided to be a teacher because like I mentioned, I didn't like, um, the route that I was going down. I was in the program. I was, you know, being taught by medical school professors, doing the lectures, and I just, I, I wasn't as passionate about it as I thought I was. And I didn't want to continue down a path that would require me to put it before my family because family is, is a big thing for me. So, um, when I withdrew, you know, I started long-term subbing and I just, I fell in love with everything education wise. And I was a little bit hesitant to put myself back out there and do another master's program. Um, but after this first assignment, I've come to realize that, you know, I'm actually right where I'm meant to be. So I'm really excited to continue to grow and as, as a person and as an educator as well. So I'm really excited. And um, something that I learned from this first assignment is that our ACT scores have decreased over the past couple of years, which was really surprising to me because I also went to school here um, in the district. And so going like seeing how much they have reconstructed the education and the way that they teach things from the time that I went to school to now, I figured that they like the scores would have increased because they are tailoring it more towards students and what they're needing. But it's actually the exact opposite. And so I'm hoping that like with with being a teacher now, I'll be able to see and like pinpoint why exactly that is. Um, and I'm sure COVID also played a huge factor in it. Um, our county was actually one of the highest counties with the most COVID cases, which again was interesting because we're not a very big county, um, but our cases were right up there with the Kansas City areas. Um, and it it definitely has to do with the meat packing plants that we have here in Dodge. Um, and so like, thankfully over this past school year, we were able to be in school all nine months. We didn't have to go to virtual learning or anything like that, which is very, very nice. And I was very thankful for that because I know some of the surrounding cities had to do virtual learning in the middle and then go back to school after being, after doing virtual for a couple of months. and. I was just talking with a couple of the teachers there and they just 
couldn't stop talking about how unmotivated and how bad numbers were for their school. So I'm very thankful that we were able to go the whole nine months without any complications. And um, our superintendent actually sent out an email the last day of school. We're starting next year. We won't have any COVID regulations, no mask mandate. So for my classroom, you know, it'll be as normal as possible. So I'm really thankful for that as well, especially being a brand new teacher and teaching for the first time ever. It'll definitely help with the transition a lot more. So yeah, I'm really excited and I can't wait to just learn more about being a teacher. <laughs>